One way to replace helium-3 in such detectors is to use multiple boron-10-based neutron converters and to connect each individual layer to a conventional gas amplification device. Each neutron converter is only about one micrometer thick and has to be deposited on two thin aluminum substrates. Each layer may convert, however, only a few percent of incoming neutrons, depending on their wavelengths. In order to achieve the same efficiency with such devices as with standard helium-3 detectors, one has to produce several hundreds of square meters of neutron converters. These layers are later on staggered and assembled in the detector. The task of my group within the detector JRR of NMI3 is to investigate a new method which allows producing such layers in an easy way and even more important, which is very cost efficient. At the moment, Magneton sputtering is a standard method to produce boron and boron carbide layers and we are using this technique to create high quality layers as a reference. To improve the adhesion and quality of such layers, we apply high power impulse magneton sputtering, so called high beams. Comparing to conventional magneton sputtering, high beams generate dense plasma with high fraction of target metal ions, in our case boron ions, and thus provide improved adhesion and density of the, of the coatings. As a result, we got boron 10 carbide layers of very high quality. It has some shortcomings if aim of large area detectors. First, you need a vacuum chamber and thus size is limited. Second, it provides rather low deposition rates. Therefore, within the detector joint research activity of NMI3, our laboratory proposed to use atmospheric plasma deposition as an alternative method for production of large area boron 10 based converters. Unlike vacuum plasma, atmospheric plasma does need complex vacuum equipment, can be applied to a wide variety of surfaces and could also provide very high deposition rates. Of course, this is a fresh technology and still a lot of work is ahead of us in order to achieve high quality layers. But our results obtained so far show that this new atmospheric plasma system is very efficient as it permits very high deposition rates. And this detector is uh, especially made for testing of such a boron 10 coated uh, converters. Uh, basically, it is a multivariate proportional chamber. So you see here the uh, sandwich consisting of the anode wire plane on both sides of it, the cathodes equipped with the delay line chain, and on top of it comes the converter. So this gives us the possibility to check the homogeneity of the uh, efficiency which uh, gives the um, converter by detection of the neutrons. The work is common uh, together with colleagues from uh, FRM2 in Munich and uh, Budapest Neutron Center, and it works very well. Uh, for that, we connected to our gas system, which supply the necessary flow of the uh, argon CO2 mixture, which we can change, then connect our readout electronics, apply some voltage on it, and uh, with help of the compact neutron source for the laboratory use, we can see the first signals uh, coming from the anode, and uh, with help of our data acquisition software, we can see the 2D image of the detector. This will give us the first information 
on the homogeneity of the converter. Boron-10 base detectors will be certainly in future very important tools in neutron scattering instruments. We hope very much contributing with our new technique to successful experiments.